let's talk about one of the very important concepts in education and that is enlist now this is important for your expected questions as well the acronym itself is very very important so it's national library information services for scholarly content now what does this actually implies this has a kind of authorized users from the various colleges has servers as infinet and tries to bring in all the electronic resources at one portal now this has come up with the execution of three uh, centers that is e shod sindhu which we have covered in a separate lecture infinet and indest now what is indest indest is indian national digital library in engineering science and technology so this focuses on engineering science and technology the indian national digital library and this has come up with the help of iit delhi so again very important infinet based in gandhinagar is the place where you have the servers for enlist and then you have e shod sindhu which is a uh, electronic reservoir uh, for the various journals that is there now from the year 2014 very very important what has happened is you have the enlist program which has been subsumed totally under e shod sindhu so now it has become part of the e shod sindhu as a college component and then there are certain colleges for example agriculture engineering pharmacy medical dental nursing those are uh, eligible uh, except those all of those are eligible to get uh, listed under enlist program but these colleges which are pertaining to uh, the applied sciences primarily mainly the medical and the allied fields are not part of the enlist program so very very important that is one of the important questions that could be part of there and the three centers based on which you have the execution so it's e shod sindhu infinet and indest of which in 2014 this enlist was totally subsumed under e shod sindhu now what it actually has so it has access to e resources for the various colleges as well as cross subscriptions so cross subscriptions could be in two form one is through the e shod uh, e shod sindhu for the technical institutions and other is the subscription to indest which is the indian national digital library for engineering science and technology for the various universities so it has been subscribed by two consortiums which are part of it and now it has four components now what are those four components those are very very important the first is to subscribe and provide access through e shod sindhu resources that are there and that's mainly to the technical institutions iits iisc uh, icer you have nit so all those are part of it okay iisc then you have icer you have nit you have iit iim so those are part of the e shod sindhu resources the next is indest e resources as i said it is basically to monitor the usage in the selected universities and provide resources mainly for engineering science and technology the next is e resources to government colleges and then you have the government aided colleges as well and finally it acts as a monetary monitoring agency which provides a kind of efficient access to the electronic resources at the college level so working as a monitoring uh, agency providing and monitoring the activities and the process involved for efficient usage is very very important so that was some of the highlights of enlist and definitely do watch the video that we have covered on e shod sindhu and the difference between e shod sindhu e shod ganga and e shod gangotri very very important question for your examination stay tuned for many more updates have a wonderful day ahead